A group of scientists say we are closer than ever to creating technology which can emerge with human biology in order to access the cloud in real time. Confused? Well, RT's Rachel Blevins is here and has all the details. Can you imagine technology that is so advanced it could provide you with instant access to the world's knowledge and artificial intelligence as soon as you think of a specific topic? According to a group of scientists from around the world, humanity could be just decades away from the unprecedented merge of human biology with advanced technology. This prediction is part of research published in the journal Frontiers in Neuroscience. The study looked at the possibility of human brain cloud interface and how it could be made possible by nanotechnology and artificial intelligence in the future. The scientists said it is conceivable that within the next 20 to 30 years, neural nanorobotics may be developed to enable a safe, secure, instantaneous, real-time interface between the human brain and both biological and non-biological computing systems. This level of technology could include brain-to-brain -brain interfaces, brain-to-computer interfaces, and specifically brain-to-cloud interfaces. Technology linking the brain to the cloud could drastically alter the state of communications between humans and machines. So in order for this to become possible, the study noted that data transfer between living human brains and the cloud would likely require the use of supercomputers with artificial intelligence algorithms. While they say that there are supercomputers with processing speeds fast enough to handle the necessary volumes of data right now, now, they still have to create tiny devices that would be embedded deep in the brain. The senior author of the study noted that once inside the brain, the devices would then wirelessly transmit encoded information to and from a cloud-based supercomputer network for real-time brain state monitoring and data extraction. Such a breakthrough in technology has the power to transform communications, education, work, and the world as we know it. But with the requirement of tiny devices being inserted into your brain in order to access the cloud, it remains to be seen just how many people will be willing to participate. In Washington, Rachel Blevins, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.